guys, thanks for being with me. I am doing another spirit session. This time it's on Sam Murphy. I've been sitting down over the last few nights actually with different apps, um, trying to ascertain where her body is, you know, what's basically happened to her. And I do have some pictures that have come through an app. I am, you know, not someone that will just take everything at face value. I like to investigate, analyze, examine, uh, I can be skeptical with apps I haven't used before and um, hmm. so there's some really interesting photos that have come through I don't know if this is relevant or not okay I'm gonna be completely honest I don't know if this is relevant or not but we never know so I'm going to add them in and they could jog somebody's memory or you know if someone's been through the bush or seen like this creepy baby doll you know there could be in the bush near where Sam is, an old doll with reddish auburn brown kind of hair. This one looks like it's got like real red hair, brown eyes, a creepy looking thing. But it could be that there is a baby doll um, somewhere in the bush near where her body is. Um, and it's interesting we're seeing these buildings. So old buildings, there's pillars. Uh, it looks like it's got like a tower structure. I don't know what you call that thing on top of the building there. Um, and to me, it looked like a uh, first thought in my head was, um, you know, like an old orphanage or something uh, or an asylum. I have no idea. I don't even know Ballarat that well. I don't know what kind of buildings are around with history uh, that could be out of Ballarat or in the region. Um, the next photo that came through was of a young boy wearing some kind of hat, a uniform. I have no idea, guys. I really don't. Um, but it looks like an olden day, you know, uh, photo. Uh, so once again, I'm thinking, hmm, baby doll, building, getting the word orphanage, and then he comes through. And I'm thinking, is this to do with somewhere where there were um, young children? Okay, so in my mind, I'm thinking an old building, an old orphanage. Um, there could be something else, some other clues, if these are relevant. Um, what is he wearing? Please let me know. I have no idea what that could be to do with. Um, you know, back in the day, they used to have to work the young ones as well. And then I see this one come up, with, which is like of a town, and it's a street. That black blob in the middle looks like a, like a statue or something. Is there a statue um, that's significant? in a town i don't know what you know that would have anything to do with sam um i don't know why i was shown that um yeah i, I actually don't know it could be relevant to a workplace or some kind of building uh there i i really don't know maybe it's giving us a clue as a town that she's near it may not be ballarat it might be another town that she's near in some of the sessions, I asked where she is and two times I heard well. I don't know if we have things like wells here in Australia. I'm a little naive with this stuff. Um, you know, on rural properties and stuff like that. Wasn't there an old well or something? I don't know. Um, but it sounds like it could be somewhere that's a historical building that she's near. And I do believe she's out rural um, as well. So these could be clues leading to where she is. I'm going to start with the Vortex ITC now, guys, and see what clues we can um, have from Spirit coming in today. Please keep an open mind. I don't expect you to believe what you're hearing. Uh, as I said, a lot of the time I can be skeptical, but I have used this app many times, and it's not the app I'm skeptical with this one. Um, I've had many strong, you know, um, connections with my guides and Spirit team, and even the victims themselves often will come through. Calling in my spirit team, which are already here. <laughs> Guardian angels, divine elemental beings of the, of the divine source. Whoever's here to help me from the highest source, please step in. Uh, I don't summon spirit, by the way. I don't ever really ask the victims to come through unless I know that they want to, you know, come in. And, and they don't, you know, if they don't want to talk, they won't talk. Um, but a lot of the times they do want to talk. They do want to have a voice. And that's why I do this. So they do have a voice. Um, but otherwise, my spirit team, you know, spirit know the truth, guys. They know. They see what goes on behind the scenes. They know what goes on. Some spirit actually don't know, okay? Some spirit will come in, like spirit beings will come in. 
trying to be helpful and they'll be like what happened you know and they want to know the story and the goss and they want to you know they want to be helpful and they want to try and come in and help so a lot of them do that as well um yeah i'm looking forward to getting some answers today from my spirit team i, I trust in my guides uh just recently i called in archangel michael i have a very strong connection with that angel and my son was about to embark on a 10 hour trip he'd never driven he wasn't very experienced with driving let alone doing a 10 hour trip interstate with the car that he just bought and um it was a second hand car so it wasn't you know we weren't too sure had to get some things fixed on it and i called in archangel michael to be with him and that day i took a photo of the vehicle and i said please put your blue rays of protection around my son and his car as he drives up there and sure enough in this picture you can see there are blue rays of protection archangel michael showed up in the picture so it was validation for me even though i believe already but it was just more confirmation that oh my god you know they've answered my prayers and in the richard allen case i did recently i asked you know for my guides to be with me and for protection and i think i asked something like who's with me or are you guys with me and they said saint michael <laughs> and i actually never call him saint michael i always say archangel Michael. actually um yeah that's how i say it and um that just once again confirmed it even more i'm like oh my god thank you <laughs> But, you know, I can understand there's skeptical, you know, people out there. It is something that, you know, if you can't prove it, you, you know, people just either believe or don't believe. And that's fine. I just ask that you have an open mind, guys. Where is Samantha Murphy? Killing. Tool killing. What else? Can you tell me about this whole case that we need to know? The killer is keeping her location secret. Nefarious. It's saying was nefarious. Experiment. Was a nefarious experiment. Was there a weapon used? Can you give me any information we need, please? Most importantly, we need to know where her physical body is. Okay. She. Fingers. Enter. February. Can you please tell me if Sam Murphy's body seven? Where is Sam Murphy's body, please? Her neck. Where's her body, please? <laughs> Samantha Murphy. <laughs> Who killed her? Fish. I've got fish come up. What's the name of her killer, please? Samantha Murphy's. Who killed Samantha Murphy, please? Him, Pat. Did you hear a dog barking?
Did Sam Murphy's killer have accomplices, please? Halloween. Four. Can you give me names of people involved in Sam Murphy's disappearance and murder? What we really need to know is where her body is. What structures or landmarks are significant around her so police can find her, please? Where did Patrick Stevenson allegedly place Samantha Murphy, please? What is Sam in right now? Where is Sam Murphy? Give me the name of Sam Murphy's killer, please. Have the police got the right guy, please, in Samantha Murphy's case? Oh my god, did you just hear that? Pat. Allegedly, guys, allegedly. Can you tell us where her body is? What structures or significant landmarks are right near where her body is now, please? Where did they put her, or where did he put her, please? Where is she? Where is Samantha Murphy's physical body, please? If Sam's with me, can she please speak through the device? We need to find for her husband and children and family, please, where she is. Where are you, Sam? Can you give me the name of the town she's, like, the, the town she might be right near or in? Uh, 
刚才的复杂的，于是我可以记，我们再继续。How many miles did he take, Sam, from Mount Clear and his parents' house? His parents' house. I need to know where Samantha Murphy is, please. We need to know where her body is. Can you give me a name of somewhere that's right near her? Why did he do this? Allegedly, why did Patrick Stevenson kill Samantha Murphy? Murphy allegedly. Die. Have the police been looking in the right areas? Oh, stick. Stick. Truck. Stick. Need to know where she is. Is she in the bush somewhere? Yeah. Which bush? Can you give me a name? What's near her body? What kind of buildings and stuff? Like, can you give me a name of things? Where's Sam Murphy, please? Where is she? Is she in something? Did Sam Murphy's killer put her in something? Car seat. Yeah, girl car, it said. But where is she now, please? Her physical body now. Sounds like Sebastopol. Oh, I swear. It's... Is she in Sebastopol? I just don't want to get confused with the other girl that was in there. We're not talking about Hannah today. We're talking about Sam Murphy. I'll help. What direction from Patrick's my, uh, parents' house is Sam Murphy, please? In his pocket. We need to talk about Sam Murphy, not Hannah today, guys. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
up. <laughs> Is she in a building or under a building at all? What's the building? <laughs> what other clues can you give me around Sam Murphy's case, please? What kind of elements is her body in? Is it dirt or water? What is it? Where's her phone? Was this premeditated? Why did why did Patrick Stevenson kill Sam Murphy allegedly? Moment. Where is her Apple Watch? Where did he put her? Decimal. How many miles is she from Mount Clear where she disappeared, please? Where's Sam Murphy plates? Samantha Murphy. A well. A well? Baby, use the opposite way. The scene of the fire. There's no way that any. I'm going to mention a few. But they need all of it. You know, like if they can. What significant things or landmarks or structures are around her body? Scream party for one enemy. How many miles is she from Mount Clear where she went missing? Please One of the Ridiculous. Dead girl lying there. Pretty fine arguments against. I'll show this alone. In jazz old friends. I made a couple of the books and I saw. Hold it. We found these clips. I'm so sorry this happened to you, Sam. I'm so sorry for your family. I've got something. Got our story tonight, Ray Buff. Can be seen in his newest. The wild and a song. Out your ass when you're eating. Is left the eye. Have the food for the back. In about 15 minutes. Who is a criminal? Cycles are a possible. Two thousand miles east. Well, I can't imagine she's that far, but it's interesting you're referencing similar to what came up in my reading around someone crossing borders and leaving. But we want to know where Sam's been. Six, six months. Six months. Heavy medical expense. We just need to know where Samantha Murphy's body is, please. She was killed in Victoria, Australia. What happened to her? Was born. Born. Uh, uh. Uh, uh. Uh, uh. 
in all of the kindergarten. No, I you got them. The one thing.